Hello and welcome back to my channel Lady T. My name is Natalie and today I thought it would be fun if we took a look at a family I've been playing with for quite a while. Uh, it's the Fundin family. As you can see there are a lot of sims so I will introduce you to them. We didn't get a lot of points and at least okay. So let's start with the two parents. Uh, the Fondin family is based on uh, the Hobbit, on Dwalin from the Hobbit. Uh, we have a big house. I like to use cheats. This is Dwalin. He is working on a masterpiece right now, hopefully. He is a firefighter. I chose that for him because I wanted to have a lot of children with my first generation of parents. And uh, from level 10 at the firefighter career, you can work from home. So that is why I chose that for him. Um, so he's, right now he's working in this little building over here, which was meant to be something for the plants, but I gave up on that because there were way too many plants and I don't really need to, but we still have that building over here. He is level 10, he is an uh, adult. Uh, for 21 more years, a uh, days, I'm sorry. As you can see, he's at the top. He worked, oh, he still has to work until five today. So we're probably going to have to do something with that. He has some friends. He has a lot of friends, of course, with his children. With, I thought that he had some more friends. Oh, there are some more, uh, some new co-workers. Well, that is fantastic. He has a lot of skills at level 10 uh, because I like to play with them that way and uh, sometimes I take them on a holiday just to work on their skills. So he is very good at this stuff over here. He is great at soccer or the athletic skill. He's great at handiness and he is great with alchemy. Uh, now everything is in Dutch because I usually play in Dutch because I am Dutch. But anyway, so then you know that. Then I made myself. Um, I am a writer at level three. Yeah, I haven't really done much with it. I have wrote, I have written a lot of books, especially on holiday. And then apparently it doesn't count as something or I have to wait for Sunday. So anyway, uh, and I'm also an adult for 25 more days. I'm bookish. I love the outdoors, love dogs, family oriented, and I'm artistic. And uh, Dwalin is athletic, he's lucky. He loves the outdoors, he's brave, and also family orientated. Uh, so yeah, these are the books that I still want to read. But anyway, that's not very interesting for right now. Um, then we have our eldest daughter, who's at school right now. She is called Emma. She wants to be oh yeah, a traveler. So she's already working at that. She wants to get the highest visa in every in all the free countries that you can visit. Uh, she has a boyfriend. Let's see where he is. Um, because I updated his looks in um, in Create a Sim, he is now for some reason pictured as a toddler. He is obviously not a toddler. He is of her age. <laughs> so just so you know, I felt like I had to explain that. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Uh, she has a job. She is doing very good at school. Um, she, yes, she is the highest rank at the um, cemetery job. I put her there because I thought it would be cool because she uh, wants to explore Egypt and stuff like that. That this would be a great part-time job for her. She's athletic. She's a good person. She has discipline. So for the art of the martial arts, they're going to learn in China, and she is adventurous. She will be a teen for six more days. She has already learned how to drive. So yeah, that's very cool. She has a lot of friends. So that we know she is already level 10 of the athletic skill. And she's working on some other things like photography and stuff like that. Um, yeah, cooking skill is not that high yet. But she may be the one that I'm going to uh, continue to play with after she has graduated uni and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we have some pictures that I still have to do some stuff with, but I'm going to show you in a bit. She doesn't have, she has a lot of that and they're all doing good. She's in school right now. Do you have to work? 
yeah, you have to work tonight. Okay, then we go to our second born, who is Daniel. Um, he is a bit of a goofball. We love him. He is a genius. He is eccentric. He is artistic, and he is athletic. Um, yeah, he likes to do his own thing. He likes to create all kinds of stuff, and that is very awesome. I really like him. And he was born a couple of days after Emma, but uh, somewhere with aging them up, I screwed up. So now he's just one day older, uh, younger than her. So it only takes seven days until he becomes a young adult. Uh, he wants to be a master magician. I thought that at some point I thought that I would make him a scientist, but I thought it would be really cool to have him... Uh, because Dwalin is very athletic, I kind of thought that he would uh, help all his children to do to be athletic as well. So that is why Daniel really likes to be creative, be athletic, uh, but also be a little bit eccentric. So he's going to be a magician. I, I just absolutely love that. He also has a girlfriend, uh, Mabel. Is her, uh, she's a babysitter, if doing very good. Uh, also, again, the boyfriend of Emma here. <laughs> um, also doing very good at school. And he uh, also the receptionist part-time job at the top of his career. He's doing very well. Uh, the invention, invention skill he already mastered. And the chess thing, the skill. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, he also has some stuff in here. He has a chance that he still has to do. Okay, I have to make him follow a writing class. That's good to know. You're doing good. And you can do that after school. Let's immediately put you up for that so that I don't forget. At the... Was it here? Yes. Okay. You can do that afterwards. And then we have triplets over here. We have Benjamin, who still has 15 days left until he becomes a young adult. Uh, he's a genius, a vegetarian, he has green thumbs, and he's easily impressed. He wants to be um, at the top of the science career. And he wants to create something called a creature robot, which is very interesting. Um, he is currently single. Yes, he is, but has very good relationships. He is also doing very good at school. I chose to have the triplets not have uh, a career. Instead, they are doing some activities. And what are you doing? He is in the debate club and in the study club. Yeah, so he's doing that. He's also very good at the logic skill, doing very well in the athletic skill as well. Old homework, new homework, cool, cool. He has already learned to do that. You have to read a study book. I haven't played for a while. That's why I kind of have to <laughs> see what they're up to in, again. Then we also have the second part of the triplets, Hugo. Um, he doesn't have a wish yet, lifetime wish. But what I want him to become is a private detective. And I'm still debating on whether to continue to play with Emma or with Hugo as he grows up. Because it, I really uh, think it's interesting, the detective career. So yeah, he is a genius, he is clumsy, he's over enthusiastic, and he notices a lot of stuff. He is also still single. Yes, he is. He's doing very well in school, and he is in the newspaper club to learn how to write. He's also a writer, just like his mother, so he's already writing books. Very interesting. Uh, he has the logic skill up. Writing skills going well, the athletic skills going well. And everything is going good. And then we have Thomas, who, yeah, they're all up to snuff. And he wants to be a master in the arts, like the guitar skill and the painting skill. He is very artistic. Um, he is also still single. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, at school, he's doing very well, and he's in the music club and in the study club. So to help them with their homework, the piano skill is already mastered, and he's very well on his way with the painting skill. So he's already almost completed this. Fair. Oh no, it's the guitar skill. Ooh, not the piano. So we still have a long way to go. Very nice. 
And then we have all these things and all these paintings that I still have to hang up in our museum. You also have to work on your writing skills, so immediately let's send you there as well. Okay, and then we have our dogs. Um, okay, I'm going to explain. This is the dog that we started out with. This is Sir Dancelot. Um, he is an elder again. Yes. Um, okay, the thing was, I only had this dog at the beginning. But I wanted to see if I could still get puppies, even though I already have seven people here. So before she, yeah, before she aged up into an elder, I adopted Moonshine Funden, a little doggy over here. Um, and I had them try out for a baby. So, and it worked, but they were both elders. So I first had to age them down again with a potion using lifetime rewards but apparently we can get a puppy so now we have seven we have ten sims in this household because i'm a crazy person rose just got born today she looks absolutely adorable uh, she will be a puppy for five more days she's adventurous and loyal moonshine is doesn't like to destroy stuff and she's loyal he's loyal and yeah, you can see that Sir Dancelot has been in the family for a lot longer. Uh, he's, she is noisy, adventurous, a genius, loves the water, aggressive, and doesn't like to destroy stuff. We're almost done with the um, showing of my family. I built this house because I needed a lot of space. I have a lot of sims, and I like to play that way. Uh, but let's just start outdoors, I think. Yeah. So, because we have a lot of sims who are athletic in this family, there's a little goalie over here to play soccer, a little thing over here to sit, away to barbecue. It's absolutely lovely that we have an outdoorsy stuff over here. This squirrel moved with me from my last house and he has been stuck here ever since. The poor guy. And I thought that I had a lot of bushes over here, but apparently I don't for some reason. Okay, it's just my life. Over here, this used to be different, but because we had to um, park the fire truck somewhere and there was something happening with him just taking his car to, uh, to missions and stuff like that, so I had to rebuild this. But yeah, so finally this is able to stand here. You have a little outdoorsy thing over here. And at the back... Because I wanted to plant some trees, uh, some fruits and stuff like that, vegetables for a while, I had this set up over here. It worked really well, but it took so much time out of the day for one sim that was a bit annoying. We have a beehive over here, we have chickens over here, and we have cows over here. We had this here just so that the dogs could mate, but we don't need that anymore. Okay. Then we have a little, we have this thing over here because uh, Daniel created it. We have toys and stuff over here so that they can play. And we have this thing from uh, some CC to play with the water. We have, okay, let's just dive into the house. Okay, there's stuff happening. Thank you. Okay, so this is Daniel's room because he is a bit more um, focused on science. He has all the stuff here. He has this from uh, a school trip. Both of these things. He has a picture from the family last winter. It is summer right now. So this is when they were all still children, not teenagers. They grow up so fast. And Daniel became prom king. At prom, very nice. He has a picture of here. He went alone after he finished his job, so that's why he is wearing this horrible outfit. And he has this scientific time traveling machine here and things to create. Then we have Emma's room over here. She's very athletic, so it's inspired that way. She's over here because she also likes to travel. It's more focused on that. And then we, they all have their own bathrooms. We have an indoor pool, of course. Um, because my dog is loves the water and I don't want him to get frozen. You have an indoor garden as well. That's why we have this stuff over here. So you can look out from uh, most of the upper floor 
downstairs because I just think it's nice. And now we have a little sitting area here. A little skill thingy over here because I had to put them somewhere. Then we had a children reading nook over here. This is Daniel's room or uh, Daniel Hugo's room. Um, who wants to become a writer and a private detective. And I don't know why I still have that up there. It's still a little children themed but I think he'll like that. Then we have the artistic room of... I forgot the names. Thomas. Um, yeah, he has grown a lot. Let's put it that way. And then here's the room of Benjamin, who wants to be a scientist. And this is the room of the parents. This was the picture from them when they were young adults. And this is them now as adults. And they have not made their bed. Bad example, because all the children have made their beds. Very bad example. And they have a bigger uh, bathroom over here with a little sitting area. Then we go in here, the prices that uh, Dwalin has received for firefighting, a little sitting area with the kitchen over here and some windows into the pool so that the parents can track their children to make sure that they don't drown as well as their dog. Little dining table, the dog area with a new bed for their um, puppy. A lot of books, the study area, which takes up most of the house because we are study as family. Then we have a little nook over here for yeah to chill. Some more cars, a garage and our laundry area. So that's it. Let's just dive in. This is for uh, now you know who they are. So let's just get into the gameplay. We just have to be aware that you have to get to your job. You are writing. It it comes back again. Great story, Ned. You're doing great. You are doing good, but I kind of want you to go in here to eat. And let's get you in here as... Let have you take a nap. You are doing something. You are coming home. You are coming home. You are at school at a newspaper club. And you are over there. Let's get you back after that so that you don't get stuck there. Then we have you came back. Then you can make your homework. Hello, doggies. I thought you were coming... Oh, you are going with the school bus for some reason. Okay, I think you can come home much faster if you just do it yourself. Okay, cool. Yeah, on your scooter, very well. They have all learned how to drive already, so I think that's a lot of fun. I kind of want to take her out, uh, yeah, going back to Egypt maybe, or to France. Oh, before we forget, Dwalin has to go there. Let's stop you doing that. Uh, then you can finish your homework and have some food. When you're done, you can also have some food. Okay, there we go. There's a big house fire. We have to go. Even though you are almost done with this. Oh no, don't invite me to parties. I have way too many sims for that. Okay, there we go. Don't take... Put on your firefighting clothes. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, there we go. At least we upgraded it so that we can go quite fast. There we go. Okay, you... Yeah, great. That's awesome. When you're home, I kind of have to do this right now so that I can focus on the mission. When you're home, you can do your homework. You don't have to do that. I don't want you to become writers. Um, and when you are done, you can also do stuff. Okay, uh, you are over here. Okay, let's start with these fires. I can already see three sims, but we need to rescue four. 
there are a lot of horses over here to adopt and something going on with you right here. Um, okay, we need to save four sims. I can see three. Oh, and there's the fourth. And I really have to save you. Okay, you are doing fine. You are doing fine. You're doing fine, fine, fine. You can go home. And then you have to do that. Okay. Okay, you can hurry up if you'd like. Okay, after we have taken that down, I think we really need to hurry in here to save you. Okay. Where is the other fire then? With the windows. Oh, uh, okay. Please hurry up. Okay, uh, break then that. It comes back again. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, do that. Stop that. Please do that. But we kind of have to see this what is what happens when you have a large family. You constantly have to be on the lookout for everything. You have to eat. First take care of that puddle because it's freaking annoying. Uh, eat some cheese. You are done. You are also done with your food. Is there stuff that you have to do? Yes, you do. You have to read that. You are When you are done, you can also eat... And when you are done, you can eat as well. You are here. Have you eaten? Have you finished your homework? You have. Uh, yeah, we're not going to listen to growling. You're going to eat. And I, you are done. Thank you. You are going to go to your job as well. Where I, you just finished eating. Good. Okay, we're doing good. This is what happens when you have a large family. Um, you sometimes have to stop missions to make sure that the rest of the family isn't dying because they're being stupid. That's the life of the Sims. Okay, there we go. We're going to do you and then we are going to convince you to run. And then we're going to take care of you. Convince you to run. Convince you to run. And convince you to run because you're outside and out of danger. But apparently you can't figure this out on yourself. There is something wrong with this horse. Oh, we we managed to do this. We saved 30 lives. That is so cool. You did it, Dwalin. Very good. And this is the day that we record. That is awesome. Right, now you still have to do that. But you're doing very good. Yeah, let's stand in the flames to put out some flames. That is a very good idea. Isn't it? You're doing stuff, you're doing stuff, 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 okay. And we already have a lot of things over here, so we don't really need this, but it is awesome. Anyway, okay, and now one more fire, and then we can go home. There we go. Yeah, we did it. There was one time I did a mission and uh, my daughter was al also there because she asked to have a play date and of course she went on a play date where uh, they shouldn't have gone. But anyway, she ended up being fine. Uh, what are you going to do with your life right now? Let's do that. You're doing nothing at the moment. Let's have you do this. Why are you all not doing stuff because I set their free will low maybe that's my fault anyway, let's have you swim over here you're doing nothing at the moment we can't have that let's have you play that thing you're doing you're doing you're doing you're working you're doing nothing let's have you clean up the entire place still have enough food that's awesome let's 
if you have a drink you are here and you need to eat there we go what are you doing oh yeah there was someone coming home is someone dating you yeah no one is dating you why are you here okay, maybe you are friends with someone you came home with someone i understand that but i don't remember who you came home with is someone like you over here You are not in their relationship, Pa. You're not over here. I don't know why you're here. Are you... Oh, you came home with her. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Okay, you ate outside. Of course you did. Yum, yum, yum. Next door. Yeah, he's swimming. That... Oh, don't run. It's because of the firefighting skill. Hello. How are you doing? Let's hug. And let's hold hands. Something is dirty. I'll clean that up. I don't know where it's dirty though. This is the annoying thing if you have a large area. You don't know... Complain. Um, we're not going to complain. No, let's just have to have a chat. It's very important to chat with each other. Show him a cat video. Yes, do that. It's also very important. Okay, are the dogs still alright? They are. But you have to chew for a bit. You are eating. Ah, oh, that's adorable. Look at him. Her. Look at her. It's so cute. Also, let's open you up so that our doggy or puppy can also chew for it. Yeah, that is cute, isn't it? Oh, he discovered something shiny let's call it little smurfs because it's a blue dwarf planet i'm 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 awesome i know let's mm -mm. let's pull some funny faces you are going home fantastic you are oh you should have been asleep already sometimes i have to pay more attention let's get you into bed Let's get you to go to sleep. Let's get you to go to sleep as... Oh, no, don't relax. Go to sleep. You can go to sleep. Okay, you are all very tired. So let's get you into your beds. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I have no idea what it is, but it sounds... Okay, we did all of that. What I kind of want to happen is that you do that. Now you can go to bed. You can finish that so that that is done. Okay, then you can go to sleep. And what is dirty over here? I, maybe this? No, no, no. But nothing is dirty, so how can there be a dirty... This is all done. So where is the dirt? They say it is unclean, but... Oh, maybe it is? If we're not letting a zombie in, I'm just saying. What is it? Oh, something worth at least $500. He made a genius statue. Okay, that is very good. We can deal with that. Uh, we have to put it in here. Then we put it in there and then we go over to our family museum which isn't shaped like yeah so for some reason it takes the old shape of the building that used to be here this is our family museum let's make it day it's easier that way 
Um, it's now all lit up because of the zombie attack, but let's not focus on that. So there are some parking spaces over here. Everything is full. We also have an inner open garden over here because I just like it. Some bathrooms, some statues, and we now have another statue that we have to find a place for. We have the paintings of our children and a mirror. And a little bar area over here. And outside, we have some chess tables and stuff. And also over here, uh, we have another statue. So we have to find a place for that. Let's just put you over here. So we don't really have a spot. Oh, we do have spots somewhere else. Okay. There we go. Let's put you over here for now. So, there we go. Then here outside you can paint and stuff like that. So yeah, and this is the area of stuff that we have found on our missions. So you Egypt and stuff like that. So yeah, this is our family museum. And there we go, they're all going to bed, you're in bed. Okay, this is probably what is messing us up. So if... Okay, for some... Oh yeah, I didn't give you the order to go to bed. Go to bed. And after you've done that, you can also go to bed. And that is the day... A day in my sim's life, basically. Me pausing a lot because I want them to have a perfect life. <gasps> Look at this. I've never had this happen. Look at how cute this is. You have to go back to bed, but this is so cute. Look at them. Oh, this is so adorable. This is so cute. Oh, this is adorable. This is the best thing ever. For this, I've been playing The Sims 3 for so long and I've never seen this. this is the cutest little thing oh I love and now there's another puddle there freak the puddles uh, so everyone is asleep we have the weekend tomorrow some of them may have to work tomorrow both of my ch uh, teenagers have to work um, but they're basically going to spend a lot of time together what we can do however we can go take her on a mission because I like that. And we can also still put this inside of our museum. Because otherwise we're going to be holding on to this forever. And I don't want that. So we're going to... Oh no wait. I have to put you in something else. Um, okay. You still have some paintings that can go up on the walls over here. Crying bright, let's call it that. And I just like to have a family museum so that I can duplicate this. And when we have to move, because the game is getting slower, um, then I can just copy it and take everything with me. These are some holographic paintings that, that I had him do. I think that's very cool. Um... So yeah, we put these up in a... Oh yeah, we made... No! Don't do that to me! No! Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, Give me the painting back. No! No! It's gone. It's probably still going to be there, but... It's just so annoying. Give me the painting back! Oh, painting is gone. He had a lovely painting. Yeah, that's cool, but I wanted that painting back. Okay, um, we have to get you over here. Because I always have my sims. Are you still here? Why are you still here? Okay, anyway. Um, like, if my sims would do that to her, then she would send us away after one warning. But apparently we have to be okay with her being here. But anyway, what I was saying... Um, 
so we my parents have these video things and they have been taking uh, making videos of the children since day one so we have a lot of uh, footage of them being toddlers and stuff like that i just think that's cute but i also have some videos of um oh no i'm not in this of them on their adventures hello melissa melanie also okay and these are the photos from france and these are the photos from egypt so let's put them in as well so that we can look at this you still have to read that don't you i don't know why you have that these are some pictures that i had them take on their vacations on their holidays so i just think that's cute to have now this one is the one from egypt Ooh. yeah this it's almost 2 a.m go home why are you still here horrible and these are the pictures from France that I took on their family vacation. I had them go before I gave birth to our triplets. So they were there with the four of them just sleeping in tents and stuff like that. And having an amazing holiday. This were Emma and Daniel as children. Very cute. They were very do Oh no, I had them already. But I kept the triplets at home because it was a little bit annoying to travel. And they weren't able to go, I think. Because they were toddlers or babies still. Yeah, stuff like this here. They were with the children and Natalie and they were fishing together. It was just overall a very cute vacation. A very cute holiday. But right now, let's send me, her, on a holiday. But we're going to France because I like it. We have a lot of these stones. This is the one from Egypt. Um, yeah, let's put everything that we I do need you you no, you can go I think that's a cute idea let's get her to grab all of this uh, we're going to get a sleeping bag we're going to get a tent do is there anything else that we need some showers would be nice this is the good food this is the good food and then we have some stuff that we can still put in the boxes over there. I'm going to bother with this later. Let's get all of you to come with me because sometimes you have missions that you have to pick this up. Now it's time to go. Oh really? It has been 3 a.m. I think that's a very good idea. And what is it? Uh, the violin, go back to bed. Okay, just... No, don't relax. Take a little nap. You are already... People, go back to bed. I can't deal with this. Okay. Yeah, I know you want to hang out. You can have a day today. But we're first going to take her on a little holiday. Which one is her car? That's not yours. That's not yours. Oh, yeah. You had the scooter. There we go. Okay. We are ready to have you go on a vacation. There we go. And you can travel. We're going back to France because we haven't done everything there. And I love France. It's a nice way to get started. Okay. Yeah. Ovisha. She has also been prom queen, by the way. And she got a boyfriend afterwards. Let's go here. We already had a visa point. So let's go here. Yeah, we're happy that we can go there. Yes, I know. We are going. Okay, that is great. Just go back to bed. I don't want to deal with you right now. And then you can take another... It's the weekend. Stay in your bed. Okay, take a nap after that. Don't annoy me. Now Melanie is stuck. You are doing very well, aren't you? Okay, but I'm going to end this episode here. I will show you in the next video um, how we're doing traveling. I think it's going to be very cute. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, meeting my family that I play with in The Sims 3. 
I still play The Sims 3 a lot because I can't really get into The Sims 4. I'm trying. With the more expansions that are coming out, I start to enjoy it more, but I still don't really love it. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And maybe I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.